It's 2024 and we're getting a Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao rematch. But where's KSI versus Jake Paul? The fight we've been waiting for. This fight has been the most anticipated on the internet ever since KSI originally beat Logan Paul back in 2019. And it's safe to say it would probably get the highest pay-per-view sales in the history of crossover boxing. The main question which instantly pops up in heads when talking about this discussion is what are the reasons a fight isn't happening? Will it happen if it doesn't happen in 2024? And what will the outcome of the fight probably be? Hello. I'm Samps, I'm at Internet Documentaries and today we're going to be talking about Jake Paul vs KSI. And first, let's start off at the beginning. At the beginning of YouTube boxing, the most notable first event was KSI vs Logan Paul, with Deji and Jake on the undercard. KSI drew with Logan, however Jake beat Deji. Fun fact, this event was so big that a channel made advertising it currently has over a million subscribers, just from making trailers for the fight. Jake Paul made it clear he wanted Deji and then KSI. At KSI vs Logan Paul 2 in 2019, KSI won and it left Jake Paul devastated. Whew. So, after the fight, uh, I was super emotional. Jake Paul used this as motivation. Next fighting Anison Gibb, another influencer boxer, and winning the fight by stoppage. But Jake didn't just want to be an influencer boxer. In fact, as we'd find out later, he didn't want to be known as an influencer boxer at all. He wanted to be a real legitimate boxer. Jake Paul distinguished himself from KSI through the fact that he began to challenge actual fighters instead of fighting influencers. I think the thing that makes Jake Paul more of an interesting fighter is that he fights people who have status in the fighting world and it hypes you up. He's fought Ben Askren, Tyrone Woodley and Anderson Silva. Not to mention Nate Diaz later. But these aren't boxers, these are MMA fighters. Retired ones at that. And since Jake began as an influencer boxer, he was getting discredited by basically everybody. And actually, but you I've called me average after you one average. minute. But you call me after one minute of my first professional but fight. You, no, but you're still average. You're not. You, That's you're not, not true. I just it, beat a five-time world you world beat champion. A UFC. You don't even know. You don't know my ability, though. That's well, the that's problem. true. That's true. You don't. That's tr I don't you know don't. where you might go. I just give you where I think you're at, which I'm entitled to, which is. Average, average With KSI, average. I mean, nobody cares if you're fighting Pineda because nobody knows who he is. It doesn't really prove any points. Jake gained his name as the problem child because he was just going through the whole fighting industry, knocking out big names. But also because of his extremely emotional personality. What the f*** is up, you Irish c***? Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're f***ing off because you're sick of f***ing your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better, but happy Monday. And Dana White, you're a f***ing too, you ugly bald you said there's zero percent chance of this fight happening but there's zero percent chance of you getting some f***ing pussy it seems as if jake was only burning down bridges whereas ksi was more focused on building them like how jake paul started beef with dana white and instead ksi partnered with him to have prime be the official sports drink of the ufc as it was seeming all perfect for the problem child the worst thing that could have happened happened when Jake Paul challenged Tommy Fury, he was met with an unfortunate outcome, losing his first fight ever. And at this point, KSI saw us as an opportunity to prey on Jake's weakness, and he challenged Tommy Fury himself as an attempt to prove he was better than Jake without actually having to fight him. Sadly for KSI, he was met with the same outcome, also losing, and yet seemingly being a lot less humble than Jake in defeat. It's a robbery, bro. Landing! You want landing! He's a pro boxer! One thing you can take I mean, away from this is that you did yourself proud, my friend, and you will get the rematch and you'll no, win the rematch. Just, do you want that I rematch? I don't, I don't. I fucking hate losing, man. Ultimately, even though Tommy Fury won it, it was a loss because he said he was going to knock out. Control it, control it, KSI, come on. He's obviously very With upset. all of this happening leading us to the beginning of 2024, it gives us a perfect setup for Jake Paul versus KSI. Both are undefeated besides the same person, the story behind the fight has been growing and is well known across the internet, and the tensions are already high. Even your fans see it bro, even your fans see it that you're just ducking and making up so many excuses all the time and it's always a new lie, it's always this, it's always that. I don't give a f*** size of the ring, I don't give a f*** about any of that bro. Bro, I'm walking out with a ski mask, taking all the earnings of this because you said we would fight winner takes all. I'm walking in with a ski mask, bank robbery, knocking your out in two rounds, and then I'm doing a front flip off of your body while it's on the canvas. And you can, and you can guarantee that. But you're a bitch. Yeah, you're a bitch. 
I hope you, I hope, I hope you realize it. I hope you realize it when you look yourself in the mirror at night, every, every, you realize that you're ducking me and you're scared. And the greatest thing to ever happen to you is prime. And my brother brought that to you and you're lucky because the Paul family keeps blessing you. But I'll see you later. But as positive as the fight happening may seem in the fans' eyes, to Jake Paul and KSI, it doesn't really make sense. First off, as I mentioned before, Jake and KSI's boxing careers are very different. With Jake trying to take it more seriously, eventually going to try and challenge Canelo to become a world champion, to KSI only being for what he has said is legacy. Therefore, Jake has said he's not interested in fighting him anymore, and has already found a new opponent for 2024. Also, when Jake Paul fought Andre August at late 2023, it showed that he doesn't really care about putting on a big show anymore, he just wants to get the fight experience. Similarly, KSI has said he is too busy with his business ventures, building up the company Prime with Logan. Another reason, touching more into it, is the Logan issue, as Jake is going to be fighting Logan's business partner in this situation. This will make it awkward for Logan and probably make him want to keep a biased view on the fight not allowing him to root for his business partner, or more importantly, his brother. Logan did bring this upon himself though. Lastly, the most important thing, who will win? Professional UFC fighter Demetrius Johnson, or Mighty Mouse by his nickname, recently commented on this and said he thinks KSI would win because he's more explosive at the end of the round. However, personally, I think Jake Paul would have an edge over him now. The mountains of evidence paint a picture that Jake Paul vs KSI should probably but never will happen and if you want to stay updated on this situation then make sure to subscribe. Also if you like this video you may enjoy my video on Logan Paul vs Twitter.